way out of that. You noticed uh, the auto attack animation started, but Thayak went out of range because of the uh, lack of vision when you go around a corner. There. It looked like a kill might have been lost there. Weijo able to pick it up. Only one flash used on, on the side of Water Late. And first blood acquired. Oh man, Porky could be in some trouble. He does get hit by the rocket grab as well. And that could have been like a really close double kill for Wei Zhao. If he had two kills at the two minute mark, this would have spelled disaster for Lion Gaming. But at this point, I mean, Cannon, he was up top. He did get pushed around a little bit as well. He had to go back to base. Shyvana is hanging around in the back, just going to be chugging on her potion. But, but, you know, we have been talk talking a lot about Shyvana and her 2v1 potential. Because once the creep waves start getting shoved under the tower, her burst wind strike and her is going to Absolutely. When you push. Uh, minions to the tower as Shyvana, you just have so much AoE wave clear that you're able to get more last hits than basically any other champion in 1v2. You could say maybe Ola will pick up a few more just because he's able to spam out that high damage under the tower. But Shyvana, one of the strongest champions under the tower, hit level 2 here, so has access to ranged wave clear with her E ability, melee range clear with her burnout. Very, very strong 1v2. Spoke hooked again. Now, I was going to say, Porky was playing extremely safe. He waited for the minions to come out, but Fizzim, he saw, if he takes one more step, I'm going to hook him, and that's exactly what he did. Punishing the play here of Porky, and, you know, Porky could be in a lot of danger of a gank coming down here into a 3v1 situation, but we see Elise is nowhere there, but Thayak is going to come down. Does have the blue, didn't get the red because it was stolen out after the game. He'll be able to resist for Elise. And I feel like a lot of that level one answered your question about whether World Elite was turned on for this game. If you're not turned on for a game, if you're not really feeling it, you don't go through an elaborate late invade level one. You kind of just play defensively and let the enemy take the game to you. But World Elite, they took the game out completely on their own. Yeah, you clear love. He's still counter jungling on this at least. This is his jungle, and Vi doesn't have many answers when faced with an Elise. She can't duel Elise early in the game. She doesn't have ultimate to put out anywhere near the same lane pressure. And you see here, Thyax relegated to relieving some pressure from the bottom lane, whereas Elise, she has free reign over the map. Yeah, she really does. She's going to be heading down to here into the bottom lane. I don't think we have a ward in that bush, so it could be a potentially disastrous fight for Lion Game because Thyag is down here. He is level 4, so he is max clear level not just seconds ago. Now look at Fizz. He's positioning for that rocket grab into a cocoon. The question is, is he going to be able to ex execute this? The flash is available here. The exhaust one to two seconds off cooldown here. We could something very difficult. I believe they know Elise is down here, so it's going to be very difficult from a World Elite perspective, but doesn't mean they're not going to try something. When you see real changes in laning opponents, you can probably assume that something is about to go down. And you know, Fizz of going right up now there. Now we see the minion waves are about to meet here, though, it's full court. It could be a Terror Dive 3v2. That'd be a bit optimistic, I think, from Mortal 8. Now we see Elise. He backs up here. He's going to at least take the big golem. But wow, we see the, the top turret does fall here. Can't say the same thing about bottom lane here, despite all the pressure. And believe it or not, Cannon is actually getting the better of the farm. But there we go. The patience is going to pay off as Thayak does drop to the second blood for Wei Zhao. He's sitting at 2 0, zero whereas our poor, poor, poor Vi player is at 0 2 zero herself. And it looks like Elise is prioritizing Dragon over taking this bottom turret. You see, the lane rotation is coming from last game in here. Caitlyn and Sona going to the bottom lane here. So, not going to be the. Answering turret here, they prioritize the dragon over that turret, but they'll get the turret eventually, you'd have to think. Yep. Dragons respawn, towers don't, so if they can pick Absolutely. up a six to seven minute dragon. They're gonna have not only the timer, but that extra global gold, and we're very likely to see a lane swap coming in. You see Caitlyn and Sona now going to the bottom, however, as well. Shyvana, level four. She had to share a lot of experience with Thayak, whereas Kao Mei is level six. Yeah, Shao Mei is level six here. May even be able to to bully out Shivana, despite the fact that Shivana is usually able to shrug off most types of damage here. Hasn't been able to pick up a giant spell, didn't have enough CS for that. Only picked up the Doran Blade, which will help her CS, will help her CS to cover it, as of course the AD does apply to the burnout. But uh, Xiaomi has a bit of kill pressure at level 6, especially if he freshly shops right now and goes for a kill when he gets back to lane. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, Kao Mei hasn't actually done any shopping, but he has been pushing that creep advantage putting up this pressure it's still only the one 
power to the one dragon. Uh, but still, I mean, World Elite, they have a, a 2,000 gold lead. World Elite, Destiny's a And Destiny's a by Celia is going to just get ignored. The rocket grab goes on to the top of Nerzul, but can they actually follow this up into a kill for Celia for the double? It looks like they cannot. A little skeptical of that gold card into the rocket grab. I feel like maybe if they put it on top of Caitlyn, they might have actually been what, able to walk home with two for Zero, but I mean, hey. kill secured is still a very viable term yeah, here. Kill is a kill if you ever kill. green, pick up something, you're leaving Sia to back away there. But and that yeah. pressure at bottom lane means because Destiny was out and they came down, they knew where at least, uh, sorry, where Vi was. And you just saw that the red buff got stolen out again. I mean, Vi is basically completely irrelevant at this point unfortunately here as i said early pressure is not near advantage also the threat of blitz roaming into a jungle makes it even scarier for fire even to clear a rates let alone a red buff here and just getting abused so far this bottom lane is like the the graveyard right now of lion gaming because we have so much attention from rural elite down here they got a pink ward there in the brush so they know that they're not going to be seen but they saw that the golems are going off and they're going to be trying to take him back to really deny the farm here for Seiya. And they did get the bit. Now, Fix is up. And clear away the enemy red as well. So, despite all the pressure, it's been very transparent that Elise is spending all her time in the bottom she side of the six map. off that, too. And that's an important cooldown here. It's spotted by a ward here. Shaman May is going to get away. There's no point chasing him away there. Too much, much range opened up there. So, Thayaki has level six here. But what can he do with it? I mean, Gragas in the mid lane is the obvious lane to gank here just because Gragas has a massive amount of burst damage, locking down Twisted Fate, but it's just very low base stats into an explosive cask and that assault battery. You have to think that's going to be a dead card master. Well, the card master will survive for now. He is level 8. Three kills going the way of Team World Elite, and they have equalized the tower. That bottom tower is non existent. Uri was off getting his blue, and Thayak, thinking of about to get that. Assault and battery going, and just as he said, at the time, you jungle, so they know where Vi is at all times. They're putting up extreme amount of pressure wherever Vi isn't. And I mean, look at this bottom lane, they're still pushing in against the next turret. And at least basically, she took a blue buff on that, but here comes the hook. Yeah, Sona is go gonna have to flash out. Assault and battery goes down on top of Wei Zhao. That's gonna be the barrier on top of things, but he goes for the kill on top of Nurjo, is gonna grab it. Visif has to do his best in order to let Wei Zhao get away, but Thayak sinking going over the wall with the vault breaking. Gonna go right into Masai. Here comes Elise as well. Double kill. All five kills right now are on this Lucian. And he has a machine. He's going for that, that phage. We could see an extremely early Trinity. And I have to wonder what Gragas was doing, not being able to react first despite being closer in terms of map movement. Just fighting that first Argus. He has his cooldowns available, he has his explosive task available, but he was nowhere to be seen. That is a good point. I mean, didn't even have to Destiny back to the mid lane either. I was curious to see if Elise was going to try to do something there with Gragas, but I think they're just, they're just kind of content with the fat man farm up. He is at 83 creeps, so despite the roaming from his side, he is still out creeping Gragas. And we see, look at, we got a 5, a 0, and 0 Wei Zhao. All kills Trinity. on Wei Zhao. It's not something that helped him out last game, but it's a very different game here. The issue last game was, despite the fact that we had a 5-1-1 Vayne, Vayne just couldn't deal with all the tanky bruises that were all over her that game. She has only single target damage as Wei Zhao. You know, <laughs> he's not content with 5 because he's got 6 now. Lucian's different. Lucian has AoE damage, which Vayne doesn't. And this Lucian, I mean, Trinity 4, Megan Bolt now. I mean, Wei Zhao is primed to carry if he ever has been. He is definitely going to be putting the, the team on his shoulders and just kind of walking into third place. At least that's that's what they want to do. Messiah kind of caught napping there in the lane. Does get off the gold card on top of Uri. Does stop out the explosive cast coming out. And has to use out that flash. I'm sure really what he was actually doing right there. But, you know, we saw that. I was going to say, if Thayant goes in there, he could actually find, you know, a, a Messiah. But... Fury was there, and they had it all planned out. Fortunately, just did not work out. It looked very questionable, but what Messiah likes to do when he's playing Twitch Fate is if he can ever push the lane, he likes to en exit enemy vision, because then you, you send questions. The enemy team will have a good idea that Destiny is available now, and if you don't have any vision on Twisted Fate, you're always at pressure of the Destiny camp and a gank happening in the side lane. So we're going to use that Destiny way as well. He got caught there, and so did Forky. Yeah, Forky's going to get hit. Pretty much uh, two deaths from Clearlove actually is one to take home the kill, but Calame locked him up extremely well with 
those uh, charges of the storm, and that's probably going to be that top tower on top of things. Visiv and Wei Zhao going to be having to run out of this one. But the flashes defeat the explosive cask, and they're just going to go right back to farming. Yeah, that was actually the dash basically from Strang, but yep. that's the thing that people have learned as they've kind of worked against Gragas for so many patches in a row with so much Gragas play. As we see a very aggressive dragon coming out here. Waddley doesn't seem to have anything there. This destiny will tell them, though. Yeah. Destiny, they definitely know New Zero going to be out of position as well. Gold card, Viz is going to knock him up. Wei Zhao picks up, not the kill. It's going to be Messiah, but the dragon did go to Vi, and a great vault breaker does get her out of the rocket the rocket grabs range. Uri is just going back to the mid, so they got the dragon out of it. It's going to be a little bit of global gold in their pocket, but they've lost the top, and they lost New Zero again. He's sitting at 0 for 0 and Sona, I mean, he has the sight stone, but how useful is he going to be? Well, I guess from a line game perspective, they'll be happy that the majority of the deaths are on the jungle and the support. We're still on patch 3.13 with both those roles. Yeah, so they're a ruby side and perhaps into an Aegis and an Ancient Golem on Vi's side. But I mean, crucially here, Gragas has quite healthy CS, is down 20 CS. In fact, both their lanes down 20 CS here, which is a bit of an unfortunate situation. But they haven't died, crucially. Clear love with the oracles, just doing a little bit of counter warning. A lot of wards have been placed in this bottom jungle. A lot of emphasis on invading Lion Gaming, coming down to this bottom main, and I mean six zero one for Wei Zhao. It's clearly paid off. As well, he you would think that an eighty. Do you think that an eighty k with a red buff was enough of a factor when it came to bottom lane here? But you look at Caitlyn. She's building up towards the, the infinity edge. She's gone for a very expensive purchase. As we see again. Oh, it's oh, he got, uh, well, he did get off his crescendo to his credit. Ace of the Hogo that does take some around here. Flash clear love as well. That, that did not work for World Elite. Possibly a little bit arrogance coming in with that team. But fight. it was a very nice rotation by Porky there. You look, yes. Xiaomei still entrenched in the top lane here. Still pushing out, still farming. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, the the calling. See ya, see ya. The calling actually going to grab home a turret. Uh, champion kill, and there goes Nurjul. Those rocket grabs are like heat seeking on top of Sona. So uh, one praise deserves another fall, I suppose. <laughs> We're back up to 10 1 for World Elite, but we did get a kill on Messiah for Lion Gaming. Oh, thank you. Oh, a little bit of a heart attack there. And despite Porky's successful run, look at the level discrepancy here between Porky and. Xiaomei. Xiaomei is almost at level 12 here. Porky just pinged level 10. So, can disengage the 5 cent. And look at this. Freshly shot as the Zonya's Hourglass here. A massive purchase for Kennen. Yeah, Kennen's going to be extremely safe with that Zonya's. And, you know, it's a really good idea to pick up that Zonya's early for a Kennen because he has to get in it and dirty with the Lightning Rush, with the Slash. Maelstrom, so it's a really good pickup for him. And it just also shows at the 15 minute mark how much gold. World Elite actually has under their belt. 8,500 gold is the advantage here. A significant gold advantage for World Elite. We'd expect no less for such a strong team here. Lion Game doing their best today. They seem to be outskilled by World Elite here, but Clear Love could be in trouble. Yeah, he does not have that flash. There goes the slicing maelstrom. They're going to turn it back on top of Thayag. We have the explosive cast go off and the rocket grab, but it will eventually be Kalmay taking home the kill. Porky trying to do his best with the tankiness rotation. Doesn't have her so against this D uh, matchup right there, but uh, Wei Zhao, even had she gotten away from all four of World Elite, Wei Zhao was ready to go right there and just pound home that, that kill. But 12-1, World Elite, they got all the buffs, they got all the kills, all the gold. It's, uh, it's a pretty big snowball right now. I mean, Wei Zhao right now is a god, basically. Trinity Force has the Bilge Water Cards working towards Play the Ruin King here. The one person who can look to deal with Wei Zhao and Lucian is Porky. You know, because once Shivana gets tanky enough, once she finishes on him, looks like she finished the, the Spirit Visage first here, she's able to run an enemy carry, and she's so fast and does so much base damage that can, she, can, she can hope to deal with an AD carry. But if you pick up Blade the Ruin King and sap away her move, isn't able to close the distance, that is can deal with. So we're pretty much on track here for Wei Zhao, picking up like a 20 minute Trinity and Blade of the Ruin King. That's pretty disgusting in terms of how much farm he actually does have. But 138 creeps on top of that. Fizz is looking for the grab. Nerjul actually did avoid it that round. But still, the counter jungling and counter warding initiatives from World Elite are still affording them a lot of map control. I mean, the snowball of that three buff start and the extra gold that Queer Life had was that very early Oracles. Ten minutes or so was the Oracles pick up on Elise. It just, all the pressure that was put towards bottom lane there 
meant that Vi couldn't have access to either her wraiths, her golems, or her red buff because there was no vision whatsoever. Despite the warding coming out, all the oracles were helping. But Fizzle was in trouble. Yeah, Fizzle was kind of just wandering around a little bit aimlessly, and he did get punished by in gaming. Got make only Lucian there at his back. I mean, sure, the Destiny could have came in, but Scanning so far off, at least so far off. And eventually, the robot just did beep boop die. 12 2, Lion Gaming gonna get a little bit of cash under their belt, but it's the 17 minute mark. It's 11,000 gold, and wow! Seiya had no chance whatsoever there as Wei Zhao goes legendary. They're not done yet. The crescendo goes down, but it does not matter. The slicing maelstrom put a lot of damage on top of Yuri. The explosive cast not able to save his life. But all of a sudden, three for zero exchange and very likely the next tower. And so much turret pushing between the Blade of the Ruin King and the Lich Bane has, of course, been completed on Twisted Fate here. Turrets are not long for this world whatsoever. So have a look at Masai, he's in a flanking position on Twisted Fate here. And then more kills coming. Yeah, there's Kayak to murder that tower. Tower doesn't even exist anymore. Masai able to clean up a lot of these waves. We still have two members dead here for Lion Gaming. And that's going to just sound the charge here. Team World Elite is going to go straight for the next one. Another ward goes down. Basically the manor ward right at that inhibitor. But there's nothing Lion can do about it. 18 minute inhibitor comes out here. 16 to 2 is the kill advantage. 14k is the gold advantage. I mean, Lion Gaming is so impressive so far this tournament, but I think they've met their match in World Elite. World Elite is in dominating form. Almost a kill a minute, and we still can't even surrender at this point. I mean, we're about to hit the 19 minute mark. We have 804 score on Wei Zhao. He's finally going to go home. A little bit of a shot needs to be very likely to finish up that blade. To the Rune King, and then what? Last Whisper going to be coming up next? That seems to be this week. Final legendary tier item, along with the Athena and Holy Grail, that's completed on the Lion Gaming side. My issue with Infinity Edge on Kaylin is situations like this, where the game is kind of over before she's able to have an impact on the game. Bloodthirster, of course, it costs less. It's better for sieging and pushing a minion waves, and of course, gives you that early life steal. You kind of need a Vamp Scepter on top of Infinity Edge to really have a similar stats to a Bloodthirster. And while Infinity Edge is incredible late game, this game's not going to go to late game full court. Yeah, the late game's going to be the 20-minute mark when they surrender. <laughs> I mean, that, that's as late as this game is going to get. So, yeah, you, you're totally right. And we do see that those discrepancies, uh, you know, in, in and amongst the pro scene, like, do you, do you go for the Thirster? Do you go for the Infinity Edge? And you should really only go for the Infinity Edge when you have, like, those overwhelming numbers, you can get it so early, and just didn't see that. You know, she might not have much of an impact, but Thyak is going to get impacted there by the culling. We got Elise just trying to catch up here to Porky. Greg is now going to come in, but the flash forward from Clear Love will keep him alive. Wei Zhao in the back. He's actually going to get shut down by the Gragas. As the Destiny comes in, there's the slicing. Maelstrom on top of things, the double kill going the way of Kalme. What a rocket grab, gets the triple there for our cannon. And it looks like maybe a transit, either catch Sona or go to the Baron. And it feels like the season, early season three is rolling back the clock here, our world elite. Cannon doing marvelously well, Twisted Fate rocking it out, and even the Blitzcrank support, all been super effective right here. The Baron will signal the beginning, the end, maybe even the sheer end of Lion Game. Well, it is going to be a best of three, so they'll have one more chance to return. Go ten thousand dollars. Uh, loser, unfortunately, just gets to enjoy another night here in China. But there goes the Baron. All five team members of World Elite are going to be picking that one up. We got a little bit of magic resist now on top of Wei Zhao. I guess he's really mad that he actually died. Absolutely. I mean, look at that score: eight, one, and five. Lost that legendary kill straight. Did Wei Zhao here? Has the magic resist, doesn't need the last whisper because there's no armor items barring the random one's omen, which is completed on Vi right here to, to really contend with. And it's some people like, I mean, look at Xiao Mei here. He's, got, he's gone for the uh, alacrity enchantment as here, raw from the crowd here. That flash is going to be on such a short cooldown, which means that the flash ultimate engage from Xiao Mei is a very real threat once again. Another buff save now has Baron dead with the 21 minute. 19 to 3 and 50, 16,000 gold going the way of Team World Elite. Dragon is up, but Messiah is just going to pick up his own blue, which means again, buff control going the way of these Asian teams. It's been fairly immaculate this entire weekend. Doesn't matter if it's Hong Kong, China, Japan. It's just 
They've been doing such flawless things here in League of Legends. Messiah has made an interesting adjustment to his build. Usually we see the Lich Bane into the instant Zonia's just to give him the, the potential to go for those ultimate into Zonia's plays, affectionately known as the Messiah engages. But instead, this time he's gone for the Death Fire Grass just for a bit more burst damage when he gets into the fights. He's not really worried about dying here. He knows that his team will be able to carry it forward if he's focused by it here. The split push is on. There's no one who can really deal with Twisted Fate. Xiao Mei is so up here, zoning away from coming to help Messiah. Messiah with and Twisted Fate trains down turrets as Fizzif slightly misses that grab. Yeah, Yuri came down here. I mean, great choice to put the Gragas in the bottom lane because he will be able to wave clear out. But, I mean, the pressure coming in from Team World Elite here on this top lane. They're going to get themselves another inhibitor. Doesn't really seem like there's anything that Lion Gaming can do. They're about to lose all three and they're not putting up a fight at all it's one of those situations where you kind of have to put out a fight <laughs> chance of winning the game but just holding back it delays the game that many seconds more but doesn't really give you any chance to win Fizzif missing the the hook of his life right there it's just like cocoon check rocket grab miss okay no problem but i mean they got all three of those inhibitors lion gaming is basically in full retreat the poke from missile uh the poke from cannon the Rocket grab potential is just much to deal with. Hey guys, is the opening blown out on top of World Elite. Nurgil's gonna drop. Xiaomi is about to take home that kill. Gragas is looking to get back into the safety of the fountain. And Porky almost going down as well. The rocket grab not able to grab the kills. But hey, they took home Kennen. Another kill to their name. But GG Lion Gaming.